In today's lesson, I'm going to explain how to find the measurement of a missing side of an irregular shape. Step one, I need to count the sides of my shape. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and that's important to know. Now, I have only four numbers, however, so I have two sides that I need to find. So I am now going to label those sides with a question mark. So this is going to be my missing side, and I'm looking. So those are the two sides that I am looking for. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to look at this side. I'm going to try to find this side. So I need to look at the sides of this shape that go in that same direction to help me find this missing side. So I'm going to look at this vertical line here, the 10 inch side, and I'm going to look at this vertical line, which is the 6 inch side. So now, what do I need to do with those two numbers to help me find this missing number? Well, if I move this 6 inch line over, that helps me visualize and see that my missing side plus this 6 inch side should equal my 10 inch side. Now, so what operation do I need to perform to tell me what this is? Well, if I take 10 and I take 6 away from it, it should tell me what this side is. So that would be 4 inches. Now, to check myself, I would ask myself, is 4 and 6, is that 10? Yes, it is. So that is the correct answer for that missing side. Now we have to find our other missing side. So now I have to use the other sides of the shape that go horizontally. So I need to use this 11-inch side, and I need to use this 9-inch side to help me find this missing side. Now, again, if I move this 9-inch side down here, that helps me visualize and see that this 9-inch side and this 11-inch side are the same as my missing side that I'm looking for. So what do I need to do? If I put those two lines together, that gives me my missing side. So that tells me that I'm going to add those two numbers together. So 11 and 9 is 20 inches. So that is the measurement of that missing side. Now, you need to be very careful and decide whether you need to subtract or add to find the missing side. In this, to find this missing side, I had to subtract, but to find this one, I needed to add. So that's something that you're going to have to decide by visualizing your lines. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to find the perimeter of this same irregular shape. Now, after I have found the missing sides, I now need to add all those sides together. So let's go ahead and write in our missing sides. That one was 4 inches, and this one was 20 inches. All right, now I need to add those six sides together. So I want to make sure I have all these sides written down. So that would be my 9, uh, nine. that would be my 10. I'm checking these off to know that I use them. 20, let's check that off. 6, let's check that off. 11, let's check that off. And then we have our 4. Let's check that out. So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I do indeed have all my numbers. So let's add those numbers together. So 6 and 4 is going to make 10, and 1 and 9 is going to make 10. So that would be 20. So now I have 2, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like my perimeter is going to be 60 inches. Make sure you label your measurement. Now, I'm a good mathematician and want to make sure my answer is correct, so I'm going to double check myself. So I am going to look at this 10 and 20, and I know that makes 30. Then I'm going to look at this 11 and this 9, and I know that that makes 20. And this 4 and this 6 make 10. So I'm just adding them in a different way. And then I have 30, 50, 60, so my answer is correct because I double checked my work. Now, my next item that I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to find the area of this irregular shape. So again, once I have found my missing sides, so let's go ahead and label my missing sides, 4 inches and 20 inches. The first thing that I need to do is I need to separate this, this shape into two different shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to separate it right here. So now I have two rectangles that I'm looking at. Now the first and I find the area by measuring, by multiplying the length times the width. So I'm going to look at this shape and I'm going to outline it because it's going to help me find the numbers that I'm looking for. I need to use this number because it's the length of this shape and I need to use this number because it's the width of this shape. So I'm going to multiply 10 times 9 because I know that area equals length times the width. 
So my area for this shape would be 90 inches squared. Make sure you label it correctly and remember that area is always found in some type of square. All right, so that's the first shape. Now I'm going to look at this shape and I'm going to find the area of it. So again, I'm going to outline that shape to help me find the length and the width. So I find that this is the length of that shape and this is the width. So again, I have to multiply the length times the width and that's going to give me, of this shape, the area is 66 inches squared. Now, my third, the third thing that I need to do is add both of these areas together. So I'm going to take my 90 and I'm going to take my 66 and now I'm going to add those two areas together and that will give me the area of the entire shape. So that's going to be 6 and that's 15. So it looks like the area of both shapes is 156 inches squared. Again, very important that you label your answer correctly.